there, wig lover. My name is Heather, and I'm from sisterwigs.com. Hi. This is Ambrose, which is a wig that I designed in a color that I designed and gave it a really quirky color name. So this is Unicorn Swirl Rooted or Unicorn Swirl R. And I made a color spotlight for this, so if you want to see it, make sure you check out our Sister Wigs 2 channel because that's where all these color videos go. But you'll, you'll be able to get, get a good look at it here, I think. Ambrose was the brainchild that I had when I started to think about some of the feedback I was getting on the colors I created for the Bell Tress line. One thing that people kept saying over and over again was that, you know, they wanted a lighter version, which is why I developed this color, which has a medium brown version and all these pretty pastels. They also told me that, you know, it was expensive and they wanted to, you know, pay like 50 bucks or something, you know, relatively inexpensive for a wig in a funky color. I can't do that with all these hand-tied medical features that some of the more high-end synthetics have, including the Kona and the Biscotti Babe that we had made in the kind of funky colors like the Jewel Peacock. This is definitely something that I designed to be wallet friendly so that if somebody wanted one in every color that we designed, they could get one and not really break the bank doing that. Here's Ambrose. So that's it. I'm Heather. I'm from sisterwigs.com. That's C-Y-S-T-E-R. Erg. I forgot to show you the cap construction. So let's take a look at the inside of Ambrose's cap. She does have really nice, well-structured ear tabs, which is something you won't find on a lot of lower end wigs. So as you can see, we did go a little bit further to try to make some nice features in here, even if it is, you know, budget friendly on purpose. It does have a generous amount of elastic here at the bottom, so this will accommodate uh, up to an average large, but not a large cap size. It'll be way too snug for that. And if you need a lot of ear-to-ear -ear space, this will likewise be very snug, but it will stretch out at the perimeter as you wear it. It has an extended open nape that's made of like a very firm mesh. We also have these adjusters here in the back, which are like um, a hook enclosure, kind of like what you'll find on Aesthetica wigs. We also have some tracks here in the back and you can see that, you know, you get a fair number of them. Definitely nice coverage, particularly for a fashion wig. It's very well designed in that way. Up at the front hairline, you get a little bit of permatease, but I mean, it's very well managed. Here, I'll turn it to the side so you can kind of see. It's just there to soften up that hairline a little bit and give it a little bit of lift so that way it doesn't get exposed here at the front hairline. We also have a little bit of felt here at the hairline to make it a little bit more comfortable, as well as felt all the way around the perimeter of the top of the cap. The top of the cap, by the way, does not have any fancy features in and of itself. In fact, it's wefted and it's strategically laid out so that way the hair lays over the tracks. There's no permatease on the top of the wig aside from at the front hairline. I don't think you'll find it anywhere else. I'm, I'm looking for it but I really only see it. Oh, there's a little bit here near the ear tab, but it's predominantly here at the front hairline. Hopefully she's like a Pokemon and you wanna catch them all. So until next time, have a great night. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, thanks for watching. Bye everybody.